Hello and welcome to my Honda Fit house tour. Um, we're going to start off with the foyer slash cockpit vanity area. Um, we've got all of my provisions for hygiene here. Baby wipes, mouthwash, toothpaste, sunscreen, hand sanitizer. Over here is where I keep my shoes. Um, this is an Asian household, so no shoes in the house. I usually get in through the passenger side, um, either start driving or leave my shoes here. Got tennis shoes, boots, and slip slops. Um, over here on the passenger side, um, I keep most of my hiking gear um, just kind of on the passenger seat. Shirt, uh, bag, and sun hat. Down here in the foot area for the passenger seat, I keep some dirty laundry. Got some sports drink. I also keep uh, this dehumidifier. Just got this at Daiso. Helps with um, making stuff not smell crazy in here. After staying in it for two weeks, also helps with humidity. Um, so if I'm cooking in here or I'm just breathing and existing, um, the windows don't fog up and doesn't start smelling crazy. Um, I've got my little friend over here. I think it's a seal. Pretty squishy. Doesn't have a name. Also from Daiso. Um, got some desert sage I collected. Just drying out on the uh, dashboard. Also keeping the car smelling nice. It's a pretty small area so um, can get kind of smelly kind of quickly. Got some pine saplings I've collected. Um, down in here, got some duct tape. Just handy things to have. Got some obsidian that I've collected. So this is kind of the specimen area. And then back there is when we get into the main part of the house. So after I get in the car, I usually climb into the back, especially when I'm going to bed, I'll climb into the back from the passenger seat. Uh, that way I don't need to get out of the car, especially if I'm in an area where I need to be low key. Um, kind of doesn't arouse any suspicions if I'm outside of my car late at night. Just park it, crawl back here, go to bed. So let's check out what else is out here. So over here's my bed. Um, when I go to sleep, I usually have the passenger seat pushed forward like this just to give myself as much space as possible. I'm not that tall. I'm about five foot four and I fit in here just about perfectly. Uh, my head's up by the seat and then my feet are down there. I can touch the uh, trunk with my feet. Um, yeah, I'm about five foot four, but I've had a friend stay in here as well, and he's about five foot seven, so I think anywhere in that range or shorter, um, you'd probably be okay and comfortable sleeping here. You'd be able to stretch out fully. Um, I sleep with a sleeping bag if it gets cold. Um, I keep uh, some of my jackets here underneath the pillow. This is just like a tri-folding mattress. There's a bit of crack here, so I just stuff some sweaters in there to cover that up. And what's nice about this mattress is I can fold it up um, and then fold the seats back up and I can just use this as like a regular car again if I need to while keeping all of this stuff in here. There's also a bit of room underneath this mattress and that's where I've got a couple souvenirs from this current trip stored. Um, got this nice big hand plane that I found at an antique store, uh, which I'm going to be restoring. Um, and yeah, sometimes I just keep miscellaneous items that I don't need very often. I just shove them under this mattress and they're good to go. So over here next to the bed, I keep a battery bank that I charge off of the uh, cigarette lighter from the car. Keep some water, more water. Uh, I keep my arhu, which is a fiddle type instrument that I like to play. I keep my skateboard. Um, behind my skateboard, I store some plastic bags. Super useful thing to have. Some Bev. 
over here in the cup holder. I've got some cleaning wipes. Um, just all things for good hygiene. Uh, keep things clean in here. Got some paper towels. Um, since this is such a small space, super important to keep it clean. Keep yourself from going crazy. Um, got this nice plywood trunk cover that I made. Uh, this is really good because I can put things on it. Kind of use it as a table. Sometimes eat dinner out here. Uh, makes a really good table. And also when I pack up all this stuff um, and I kind of turn my car back into a regular car, um, this keeps all of my stuff covered and out of sight. Over here's my bigger battery bank. Um, when the car's driving, I'll usually uh, have it plugged in like that um, to charge. Pl uh, charges right from the cigarette lighter again. Um, and this is what I use mainly to power um, my rice cooker. I've got a tiny rice cooker. That's what I use to cook food. Um, this is my pantry. Got some snacks. There's a bit more in here than I guess I would typically have, but I am in the middle of a weeks long journey. So always good to be stocked up. Got ramen, some canned food, all non-perishables because I don't have any, um, don't have any refrigeration in this car. This over here is the reflector I use to cover the back window at night. Um, over here I have curtains. These are nice blackout curtains so I can have some privacy and it keeps the, uh, this area, this room of the car, um, completely dark at night. So again, privacy makes it easier to sleep. And here I keep this lunch box. Um, I've got my utensils and dishes in here as well as some of the things that um, probably don't fare too well just in the hot sun all day marshmallows, uh, got some chocolate that didn't do too well. I was making s'mores earlier, if you couldn't tell. Um, here is my rice cooker. I use this for cooking food, for boiling water, etc. I made ramen in this. I've made some jam. Um, and here I keep a couple of pickled foods. Again, all non-perishables, um, some meat snacks and dishes, cooking ware, uh, etc. And this powers, this rice cooker is powered right um, off the DC outlet, um, and there's a DC outlet right here in this power bank uh, that I plug that into. Doesn't drain that much power, which is great. Boiling one or two cups of water only takes about uh, 5 or 10% of this battery's capacity, which is good, and I just charge it when I'm driving, so I uh, never really have a power problem there. All right, back here in the corner, I've got more water, notebook, other corner, I've got water as well. Um, good to keep stocked up on water, especially when you're out here in the desert. Um, up over here, I have first aid kit. I've got some tools, some flashlights, uh, lights for the car. Uh, mostly use those instead of draining the uh, lights um, that are running off the car battery. Um, yeah, got some tools, etc. over here. And in this section, this is where I keep my clothes. Uh, this is just a duffel bag. Uh, I've got all my clothes in there. Um, and again, dirty laundry is up front over here. So this is what it looks like from the back where the trunk is. There's my bed, living room area. Uh, kitchen, pantry, and then underneath here is where the spare tire is. There's a wheel well. Uh, I keep some extra provisions, some extra food, water, and tools down here, jumper cables, jack, all of that stuff um, in the wheel well. This is what it looks like in here with all the curtains done up. Really nice, no gaps, so a ton of privacy. Also, it helps control the temperature in the car a lot. Um, if it's a really hot day, it keeps the sun from beaming in here, as well as if it's cold, it kind of keeps things insulated. These are uh, like blackout curtains, so not a ton of light is getting through. Um, so it makes it pretty comfortable to sleep. This is what it looks like from the outside with the curtains done up. Really good because you can't see in there. My windows aren't tinted, but this has a similar effect. The rear looks like. Yeah, it's really nice because it's pretty low key. So if you're in a city area or something that 
place that's not too welcoming to campers. Uh, this car kind of blends right in. Here's what it looks like from the rear with all the curtains done up. Yeah, if you take a look here, all the curtains are just hanging on bungees. So this is at the passenger side and driver's side door handles. Um, and it's just threaded through. Bungee, super easy to put in and out, take down. Same over here, it's over hanging on the uh, seat belt holder. And then all the way again to the uh, driver's side and passenger side door handles. Same on both sides. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed uh, this tour of this little Honda Fit camper. Like I said, I used to live in this car for about two years in university. Um, I no longer live in this full time. I have a job now, house, but uh, this is still my vacation home and super awesome to take around because this is the kind of car you can kind of take anywhere, both city and in the outdoors. Um, kind of park it anywhere too because it's very small and, and discreet. So I hope this gives you some inspiration for your own setups or satisfies your curiosity for, for this kind of thing. But um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this vehicle for long-term camper or even living situation or just, again, vacation home for when you want to go out into the wilderness um, with your little city car that you can still parallel park on the hills of San Francisco. So yeah, thanks for watching.